today we're going to be generating an RSS feed and we're going to be using a package called RSS. Now the reason why we're using the package RSS is just that it generates a lot of the metadata and it's just easier. It also formats the dates. So to get this package to work, all we need is FS and the package called RSS. Now we only need FS to write the file. So you will get a string with the XML so you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can stream it with like Express or something like that. So you don't have to write it to a file, but that's just what I'm doing in this example. So the next object we have here is a block object. Now this would be your database or wherever you got your data from. But if for this example, it, I just thought it would be easier to just have an object and then take all of the data from there. And in the block object, we define a few properties. So we define a title, a description and an author. And this is going to be the general title and description and author for the whole RSS feed. And then we have the articles and you can see that they have a title, a description, a URL and a publish date. Now, if you notice the date here, you can see that RSS actually formatted it. So that's one of the nice features as well. And the next thing here is just defining the RSS object. And uh, you can see we do it like this and we define a title, a description, and an author. And there are more of these properties, and I will include a link down below so you can see all of the different properties which you can set. And the next thing we have to do is just remap all of the articles from our database or our blog object into the format that package RSS understands. So the way we do that is just by looping through each package, and then we run feed.item, and then we pass in an object. Now the properties which we'll define on here does have to be named a certain thing and I'll include a link down below so you can see the names. A few of the values you can set is the title, the description and the date. Now you can see that this is called date and the only reason why we're actually passing this in as an object and not just like this is because of the published date. Now if I had named this date and not published date then it would have worked but that's essentially all you have to do. And the last step down here is just generating the XML file and then writing it. All right, guys, so that has been everything for today. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.